night was the final meeting for Fort Wayne Community Schools to discuss big transportation changes coming to the district. Property tax caps are forcing FWCS to reduce its transportation spending by two and a half million dollars. But parents have some new concerns about all of this. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday was at tonight's meeting and he joins us now with more. Lamar? Yeah, Mark, those changes include students walking to walking with no sidewalks, new school times, and making sure students outside the district continue to go to a FWCS school. Tonight, FWCS officials did what they could to ease those worries. I don't know where we go from here, but it's got to be better than what it is. Since last month, Fort Wayne Community Schools has been trying to prepare parents for the future of transportation, or the lack thereof. Property taxes have resulted in severe cuts to its transportation budget. Parents are concerned for those four to 6,000 students who will be affected. In our neighborhood, uh, we don't have uh, sidewalks, you know, to come down Ludwig Road and then Coldwater Road to safely have a child walk to school. So what do you do? Superintendent Wendy Robinson says district leaders will have a series of meetings with Mayor Tom Henry and county officials to help identify areas where sidewalks will be needed for those students. Another area of concern is the new hours for schools and how parents will be affected. You just can't just like, okay, I'm going to call my boss up and say, hey, I can't, I can't go to work because I got to get my child to school at this time. We won't have a job. Okay, we don't have no jobs. How are we going to pay taxes? Now you want to move the school hours too. Which parent needs to find a different job to accommodate that? With all these proposed changes that parents are worried about, Earl Lindile might be pulling his daughter out of school. A strong consideration is homeschooling at this point. Under the proposed plan, students who are outside the district but attend an FWCS school will no longer have transportation. Now, the school board is expected to vote on the measure on January 28th. If approved, changes will go into effect for the 2015-2016 school year. Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.